Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to automatically highlight blank rows, perfect for cleaning large datasets and spotting gaps instantly. Here I've got a sales list with order IDS product and totals. But as you scroll down, you'll notice some rows are completely empty and that makes your report look messy. Let's start by selecting all the columns that contain our data. In my case, that's from column A to column F. You want to make sure everything in that range is selected, including the rows that might be empty. So go ahead and highlight all your columns. Next, go to the Home tab. Then on the right-hand side, click Find and Select. And choose Go to Special from the list. In the window that appears, select Blanks and click OK. Excel instantly highlights all the blank cells inside your selected range. You'll see them all flashing gray or outlined. Let's say we just want to highlight the blank cells. While they're still selected, go back to the Home tab and click the Fill Color bucket. Pick any color you want. I go with the light yellow color. And just like that, every empty row is now visible. I'll scroll down the sheet so you can see how consistent this is. Every blank row across my range from A to F is now colored in yellow. Now let's say that we want to check which rows are completely blank using a formula in cell G1. I'll type a quick header. Let's call it blank check. And then I'll update the filter as well just because I like to have it or see it on all my columns. Then in G2. I'll type this formula to check if the row is empty. This marks the row as blank. If every cell from A to F is empty, start with equals IF. Open bracket. Count A. Then open bracket. Select your cells range from A2 to F2. Close bracket. Equals zero. Comma. Open quotation mark. And type blank. Then close quotation mark. Comma. Double quotation marks. Close bracket. Now instead of dragging that all the way down. I'll first copy the formula I just typed in cell G2 using Ctrl plus C. Next, I will select columns A to F again. Go to Home then Fine and select Go to Special. In the window, I'll choose Last Cell and click OK. Excel jumps straight to the very last row that contains data in that new column G. Now paste the copied formula from G2 in here, which is the last cell. This helps Excel recognize the range from top to bottom. The trick now is, hold Ctrl plus Shift, then press the up arrow. Excel selects everything from the bottom back up to G2. Then press Ctrl plus V to fill the formula in one click. And that's it. The formula now runs through the entire dataset, and we can quickly test that using a filter on blank only as you can see it works. Now that we've used column G to identify the blank rows, we don't need it anymore. So I'll go ahead and delete column G to keep things clean. Next, let's say I want to delete the blank rows. To do that, I'll highlight again all the columns where my data sits. That's a 2F, so Excel only looks for blanks within that range. Now let's find the empty rows. We will go to the Home tab, then click Find and Select, then go to Special. In the pop-up, choose the option that says Blanks, and click OK. With all the blank cells selected, press Ctrl and the minus key together. Excel will show a small pop-up asking what to delete with different options. As you can see, by default, it says Shift cells left. But we want to remove entire blank rows. So I'll change that to Shift cells up. Then click OK. And that's it. All the blank rows are gone. And our data looks clean and ready to use. Before we finish. Here's another quick way to spot blank cells using conditional formatting. I'll select all the columns where my data sits. Again, that's a 2F. Then go to the Home tab. Click Conditional Formatting and choose New Rule. From the list, select Format Only Cells that contain. Under Format Only Cells with, open the drop-down and choose Blanks. Next, click Format. Pick a fill color. I'll use a light yellow. Then click OK and OK again. Excel instantly highlights every blank cell in yellow so anytime a row or a cell becomes empty, it'll stand out automatically. Now watch what happens. If I clear a cell that had data, it immediately turns yellow. And if I type something into a yellow cell, 
the color disappears automatically. That's because the formatting is dynamic. It updates as you work. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick Excel tips.